What's good YouTube? Welcome to JT Picks, and today I'm going to be ranking all 33 of Jude Barkley's weekly singles. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Number 33, Ring Pop. The cold hard truth about Ring Pop is that this track was forgettable. I always forgot what the song sounded like, and whenever I played it, I skipped it less than halfway through it. I can still listen to the whole thing, and the hook is decent, but to be honest, this is the only Jude single I really didn't like. It's just not as strong as other Jude songs. Number 32, Mixed Signals. The Juice World reference in this song was nice, but my problem with it is that it has nothing that really stands out. If anything, there's two other songs that have similar vibes and they're a hundred times better. Number 31, Drama. Drama was a unique vibe for Jude. It's nice, but that's it. There's nothing too special about it. It's just a pleasant song to listen to. Number 30, No Pain. Originally, in earlier drafts of this list, this song was lower in rank. But over time, after I heard it a few times, I went, man, that's kind of unfair. This song has a strong chorus, a solid feature, and good verses from Jude. It didn't deserve to be as low as it was. Number 29, Sleepless. Not a lot to say about this track, good beat, good hook. That's really all there is to it. Number 28, Replaced You. This track presented a sound from Jude that I'd never heard before. Delany's vocals are great. Jude's parts really stand out. The real reason that this song isn't higher on this list is because it didn't hit me in the way I wanted it to. Number 27, Haunted. My thoughts on Haunted are so conflicting. On the one hand, I don't like it. But on the other hand, I do. Let me explain. I hate how the song starts and ends. I don't even know why, I just do. The chorus though is amazing. The verses are fine, but still, that chorus is pure butter. Number 26, Panic. Panic has a nice beat and great bars. Lauren isn't real, she is standing. Now I know to never trust a girl named, I'm not gonna say it. Number 25, Don't Call Me a Cancer. Don't Call Me a Cancer has good production by Zach Paradis. The verse and the choruses though, while okay, feel like stuff I've heard before. Number 24, Wonderland. This was a super interesting track. And to be honest, at first I really didn't like it. But after a few listens, I realized it was a decent track. I'm pretty sure that my feelings on this song also have to do with the fact that the song that had preceded this one was one of my favorites. So when this song came out, I was like, meh. Number 23, Road Trip. Jude was influenced by his previous collaboration, Elias, who sometimes makes punk rock songs. And Jude made his own attempt. It's a solid song. Unfortunately, it's nothing groundbreaking for Jude. Number 22, Who Am I? The latest single from Jude and producer Wow Eli is fine. It's a more consistent track than Haunted, as in it doesn't have a low point, it's mediocre throughout, but it feels all too familiar. Number 21, Loose Ends. Loose Ends is a guitar plucking and heavy 808 driven track. It has a strong hook and for some reason it gives me slight Juice World vibes. I like it, but there are other Juice World songs I like more. Number 20, Text and Delete. This was another song that originally had a lower placement. I realized that its place was unfair because this was a pretty fire track. I enjoyed it. It has an amazing beat, an amazing feature. You know, enough said. Number 19, To The Heart I Broke. To The Heart I Broke is a side of Jude that we, the listeners, don't see very often. You can feel the pain in the lyrics and the hurt in the calm, quiet, almost non-existent instrumental. It's a memorable Jude track and a great one. Number 18. Never Trust Remix While there are quite a few elements that make this a quality remix, for example the newly added and perfect Jude verse which closes the remix, the true highlight of this song can be summed up in two words. Jesse Leprati. Number 17, Necklace. This is one of the two songs that Mixed Signals reminded me of. The song was comprised of a catchy hook and strong verses from the feature, Vic Sage, and Jude. Number 16, Rogue. Rogue is the best song that is reminiscent of Mixed Signals. 
It has a strong hook, which characterizes good Jude Barkley songs. The beat works well, and Errol Allen is the cherry on top. Number 15, Run to Safety. Out of the three Wow Eli and Jude collaborations, this one has to be my favorite. The beat and the vocals, the chorus and the verse, work so well together because they complement each other. Number 14, Do It Again. Now we get to the really good songs. Before the songs were good, now they really good. In all seriousness though, I'm super impressed that Jude started his first self-rap release with such a strong song. This song would have been higher if not for the fact that it features John Keith, and he only does the chorus. He also does the pre-chorus technically, and I understand why Jude wouldn't give John a verse. It was either A, it was too expensive, or B, he was afraid that John would quote-unquote Drake him, and this would become a John Keith song rather than a Jude song. Aside from that small thing though, it's a great song, and the best part is Jude's second verse. Listen to it and you'll see why. Number 13, Both Feet Up. The beat is exceptional. Aaron Kell brings a solid verse, but the hook. The hook! It's so catchy. Everybody's got problems like Lauren. Number 12, In the Fire. I love the Chance the Rapper gospel vibe this song gives off. It also does things I have literally never heard in music before. Like how it doesn't keep the same tempo in the chorus and verses. I also love how the lyrics are centered around Jude's faith in this song. Wish we had more types of songs like this, to be kind of honest. Number 11, Making Me Look Good. Although this is technically Elias' song, it shows, and Elias kills it. But Jude steals the show with his verse, backed by an amazing beat switch. It's all so good. Also, Doze's trumpets, well, at least that's what I call them, acts as a perfect chorus closer. We're in the top 10 now, and I have to say, most of these 33 songs are good, really good. So good that it was hard to rank them. So before I get into the top, I want to say that each and every one of these songs have all the characteristics of a Jude song. An extremely strong hook, first class beats, and top notch verses. With that said, let's keep on moving. Number 10, Jealous. Amazing song, one of the earlier singles from Jude and one of the strongest ones. It's a chill beat and its vocals lend to its catchy final product. Number 9, Candy. This song would have been higher, but when its competition is such excellent songs, the smallest things can hold it back. While Jay Way does a decent job as the feature, I feel he didn't perform to his fullest potential. Other than that small nitpick though, it's a... I'm running out of synonyms here. Magical? Song? Number 8, Princess Peach. At first, I loathed this song. To me, it was so stupid that I couldn't enjoy it. Then I realized it was meant to be a tongue-in-cheek song. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously, and that's where its greatness was. Everything about this track became better to me once I accepted this truth. The nostalgia-written beat, which included Mario Kart sound effects like the blue shell and the race countdown, Swayze going way too hard for his verse, you could be my princess peach with that new hair you just bleach i'm gonna listen to my dies and keep my feelings on a leash and jude's lyrics were so pleasantly dumb that it brings a smile to my face every time i hear it number seven perfect timing the first collaboration between errol allen and jude perfect timing was the first drop that made me realize that jude wasn't gonna stop consistently dropping bop after bop i mean have you heard this song the chorus is more addicting than drugs just kidding, don't at me. Number six, If I Go. Another example of Jude's jaw-dropping ability to make a hella catchy hook, If I Go makes my ears happy and makes me chant the chorus like I was at a Justin Bieber concert. Number five, Legacy. Literally, this song does the same exact thing as the previous one. And although If I Go is as good as Legacy, Legacy is just a little tiny hint better than well, if I go. Legacy just hits different sometimes. 
Number four, high school never really ends. Jude's single that was placed on the esteemed Reach Records Summer 21 playlist was great. Carvello produced it and you can tell because the beat is pretty dang good. Jude also made sure once again to employ his super catchy hook. It's a quality song from a quality artist. Number three, Cinco de Mayo. Fun fact, the reason this song is called Cinco de Mayo is because it was dropped on the 5th of May, which is Cinco de Mayo in Spanish, a Mexican holiday, and because the hook is in Spanish. I cannot stress this enough. It's a really good chorus. It's as strong as anything J Balvin or Bad Bunny can give us. Plus, the beat is great. I sent my cousin this song, and he isn't afraid to tell me if he doesn't like something, and he said that it was, and I quote, quote, nasty, and that he was messing with it. So yeah, exquisite song. Number two, I'll be okay. Whoa, this song's something else. The way that Jude and Nato 8 bounce back and forth in the first verse is legendary, and the way that Nato's woos were, uh, were isolated and layered with the chorus is legitimately a genius move. Don't get me started on how catchy this joint is. There aren't enough words in existence to praise this song. Number one, what if? Remember how I said there isn't enough words in existence to give praise to a song? Yeah, same here. What If is the epitome of what an absolutely perfect Jude song is. An incredible, beautiful monster of an 808 mixed with a masterful set of well-written and mesmerizing lyrics. Short but sweet and straight to the point, What If is a testament to Jude Barkley's excellence in music. He didn't need Carvello, Reach Records, 808, no offense, or nobody to make such an amazing song. And that was my ranking of all 33 of Jude's weekly singles. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would appreciate y'all liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. Remember, there's only two things I know. I know that Jesus is king, and I know that JT, moi, knows best.